Hi, welcome to Matt Holman Golf. I thought we'd take a look at Susan Peterson's swing today, and uh, in particular the transitional sequence. I found some good footage online here. Um, I think it's using a swing catalyst or some sort of force plate. We can really see how a weight moves while in unison with the uh, the video footage on the, the left hand side here. So let's take a look at this. I think for me Susan's got the best swing in the in the ladies game and and in general I think it's one of the best swings in the game. I really enjoy watching it. I've worked a lot with her current coach Sean Hogan um, on these movements so I'm going to try and highlight a few of them here. Um, so she's most probably hitting eight iron, seven iron here. Um, you can see if we look on the, the figures there her weight is actually slightly favouring her left hand side which I think is what we would like to see you know pretty even to slightly favouring the the front foot for a for an iron that's going to just encourage a slightly downward angle of attack we're looking for maybe hitting about five degrees down um, so we can see also the weight starts sort of favouring that front foot you can see there's some pressure through that back foot as well um, now as we then start to move you can see sort of the balance is changing you can see the weights working diagonally into that back foot so the sort of very reddish looking foot on the top or on the right hand side but the the left foot you can see now the numbers are changing so now we're already 60% of weight into our right side 66 and you can see how that little white dot take that back again is working sort of diagonal and you can see the, the sort of figures changing there so we're getting more to the top 66% diagonal you're going to see now she's got to the top now the weight is predominantly in that back foot we've got a little bit of pressure still in the front toe which I like to see um, weight sort of moved from more on the front foot to in the right heel right foot and now as she makes her transition this is really one of the keys that I like to see the weight really work diagonally so and we can see that in the movement again our white line it's worth sort of diagonally towards now the toe actually of the front foot so many people think that the golf swing is just a turn and a turn and it is but we need this transitional movement so I would say it's a turn it's a diagonal and a forward movement of the lower body then it's a turn and this is really for the average player where they have these huge outside in downswing lines and slicing is where they're going wrong because they're seeing the swing is just a turn and then a turning movement that pulls our arms way outside the ball to target line and then we can only pull left where you can see her lower body's move forward a little but you know nearly into her sort of delivery position you can see actually she's got no weight in the back heel 70% of her weight's now in the, the lead foot but see how most of it in, highlighted by that reddish area is actually in the toe and the more the forward part of the foot it's actually not in the heel so most people would think that actually we want to sort of clear and turn in, into that left heel as fast as possible but actually we don't want to see that we want that weight this will allow our swing to stay in sync and swing from the inside is actually so we look at her here it's still very much it's certainly moved forward and that's going to allow us to hit ball then ground but you can still see at this point it's still I was predominantly in the the more the front part of the the lead foot so it's now only going to be late on you're going to start to see a bit of a switch and the weight's going to sort of cross now into the heel more so you know if we're looking at this down the line definitely that left leg's firming up but it's certainly a sequence of I would say from the top it's a forward move of the lower body so I'll, you'll see on a lot of the, the footage I'll put in this was a line I learnt from, from Kevin Smeltz who was had a worldwide instruction for the David Ledbetter academies for maybe 15 years or so he'd always put that on the outside of my foot and he'd always say by halfway down you want your hip to hit that line so you can see she's got that nice forward move and we'd always talk about a diagonal and downward pressure through that left toe we can really see that now then 
later on it, that lower body really snaps and clears through you can see the weight moving into the heel and everything continuing on